hi good morning everybody i hope it's a beautiful monday morning for you all and that you're having a wonder wonder wonderful day remember guys that in everything you do you are to acknowledge him and he will direct thy path so today guys i am gonna show you how i make my clarifying shampoo i haven't done a clarifying wash for some time on my hair so i want to do that this time as i am about to put it back into protective style and now i have tuna in my hair right now and it's there pre-pooing so this is my water on the stove and to that i am going to add my Flock seed, then my fenugreek seeds, and then my clove. And I'm going to be using the trusty black soap to, um, to make my shampoo. So guys, I will come back and I'll show you how I do that. I'm going to allow the, the fenugreek, the flock seed and the clove to boil form the gel and the let's pause for the nugget today that which is the word that comes to us from deuteronomy 31 and verse 6 be strong and of a good courage fear not nor be afraid of them for the lord thy god he is it is that doth go with thee he will not fail thee nor forsake thee amen and then I'll come back to show you what next I'm going to do. Okay, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Okay, guys. So now I'm about to show you. This is my, my black soap. And I am going to grate a portion of this to make my deep condition. My shampoo, rather. And this black soap is out of Africa. And it's organic black soap. And we know that black soap is very good for skin, good for eczema, discoloration, and stuff like those. And it, it also makes a powerful clarifying shampoo. So that's what I'm going to be doing today, as I told you before. So now I'm going to just grater on this side of the grater so you can see. Okay guys, so I have grated about quarter of the block of soap that I had in my hand and I'm about to show you what that looks like. Just give me a moment, let me get all from the grater. Okay guys, this is what it looks like, so I'll come back and show you what I'll be doing to this one, okay? Okay guys, so bye! Okay guys, I'm back, uh, my gel is finally formed and I'm about to show you how to complete this process so this is my measuring cup and my strainer and first this is what it looks like it's really hot guys and then I'm gonna strain this off into my measuring cup because I'm only gonna be using the gel for this purpose 
So I'm going to strain this off, guys. So I'm going to pour it out like this into my strainer. And guys, the more the gel sits, the thicker it's going to become. So that's it and this is my black soap that I grated before and I showed you how I did that so because this is hot I'm gonna put this soap right in there and it's gonna melt it so it can become one with my with the liquid in the measuring cup so here I go I'm going to be adding the black soap. Go ahead. Thank you. Okay. So now, guys, I'm going to mix this in, and the soap is going to melt. Just um, show you what that is. What that is looking like. There it is, guys, and this black soap is melting nicely. this guys I'm gonna add a little bit of um, castor oil and some a little castor oil and I'm gonna add some olive oil while that melts guys let me add some so that's my okay so I'm gonna add some avocado oil because you know that's what my hair loves so I'm gonna add some avocado oil first and I'm gonna be using this tablespoon I'm gonna be adding about one tablespoon of avocado oil I'm going to be adding one tablespoon of olive oil. Okay. And I'm also going to be adding about half of a tablespoon of um, Jamaican black castor oil. Guys, my Jamaican black castor is almost done. So I'm gonna just clean out what's in this. So we're just gonna mix that in, guys. So this is what it looks like, guys. The soap is still not completely melted, the black soap. 
so I'm waiting on that to be totally melted Still have a few pieces guys that's not melted so I'm trying to help the process by grabbing them and crushing them kind of hard to do because it's slippery but this is my black soap and clarifying shampoo that I'm going to use to wash my hair later, a little bit later from this. to finish it guys and pour it in a bottle so you can see it so that's why I'm not leaving it alone okay guys I think the melting is done now so now I'm gonna pour it in my shampoo bottle and this is what I'm gonna be using to wash my hair Later, I'm going to give it a good clarifying wash. I haven't done that in a while. This is what it looks like, guys. So this is my shampoo. And so, for example, you didn't want to make a clarifying shampoo. You could add a natural soap to this, another natural soap to it, and make it whatever flavor you want it to be. Like you could add um, Castile, liquid um, organic natural soap to, to that mixture that you bought. Add your soap to it and you get your shampoo. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoy this one. Actually, one of my viewers had asked me to show how to make the shampoo and so i have accomplished it thank you guys for watching please remember to like share and subscribe guys thank you 